We are pioneering. We have established a presence. The pioneers established a presence on the plains and settled the United States. We've established a presence and we know how to live in low Earth orbit. But we want to go beyond that. And we want to explore and pioneer, establish a presence in our solar system. Well, we have set up what we call our journey to Mars. And there's three zones. There's the Earth dependent zone. We're there right now with the International Space Station. And to get to Mars, that Earth independent zone, we need to get out to this proving ground in the middle and prove the systems that we need to establish that trip to Mars to make it viable with the propulsion technology that we have today where a, a mission to Mars is anywhere from a year and a half to two years to get there, have time on Mars and come home. And there's a lot that we need to learn to make that happen. In the Earth Reliance Zone, the International Space Station is a fantastic engineering testbed to prove those systems that we need to become truly Earth independent. To get to the International Space Station, we need a reliable way to get there. We've been going back and forth to low Earth orbit for 50 years. We know how to do that. We need to focus on that, that exploration part of it. So we have the commercial crew program, commercial cargo right now with orbital ATK and SpaceX with the Dragon and commercial crew with Boeing with the CST-100 on an Atlas V and uh, SpaceX on the Falcon with the uh, Crew Dragon. We also have operations we need to conduct to prove that we can operate away from planet Earth for an extended period of time, both operations and with the systems that we need before we can go to Mars, and that's gonna be uh, critical. How are we gonna get there? We're gonna get there with the Space Launch System and Orion. And the first thing that we have to do if we're gonna be able to get to Mars is have a rocket that can get us there, that's SLS. It truly is a unique vehicle and the most cost effective for what we have. It is evolvable. Uh, this is a program, you know, that is capability based. We're gonna have to have a crew vehicle. That's the MPCV, Multipurpose Crew Vehicle Orion. So there was a flawless test flight from start to finish, four and a half hours, 3,600 miles away from Earth, re-entering at 85% of lunar reentry velocity, checking out the thermal protection system. It performed flawlessly. Uh, 17 different separation events, pyro events that had to happen perfectly. 11 parachute events total to make everything work out right. Uh, radiation was less than we thought. Over at the Stennis uh, Space Center, they're testing those SSMEs. Those engines will be utilized, four of them, in the core stage. And the solid rocket uh, motors were tested in uh, March. We did the qual test March 9th of the five-segment solid rocket motor. Same casings that we use for the shuttle program, only this time instead of four segments stall, five segments were more thrust. Eventually, uh, we're going to need some sort of habitability module and a lander. Those will come. This program allows us to go anywhere. And I look back, you know, it was December 17, 1903, when Orville and Wilbur made that flight at uh, Kitty Hawk. And uh, the first powered flight traveled a distance of about 120 feet. That's the length of the space shuttle, and it lasted about 20 seconds. Look where we are today. And I believe the next 50 years of spaceflight are going to be even more phenomenal than those first 50 years that NASA had.